Oh, we have a Hasa right here for Winter Semis. Oh, he is trying the Sephiroth. All right, he's going to go with it first. It Interesting. Worked, it worked earlier with the other Steve player that he did play earlier. Oh, there's the pain he feels. Okay, Apple getting started with the combos oh, here. Is that okay, Apple dead? Right here That's, going with the Steve. Is that, that is zero? Oh, it was very close, though. But that was still an amazing combo. This is Apple's first week back since his hiatus as well, so he's doesn't even look like he's rusty at all whatsoever. That's right. You wouldn't even be able to tell that he's got... Oh, and he almost oh, gets the I, I, I like the idea. I love it. But not quite working out. I know everybody's not a really big fan of Steve, and I'm not either, but one thing that I can give a lot of Steve players is if you look at how they play, everybody has a little tiny dash of a unique play style of what they do. Yeah. And the thing that I like about Apple is I feel like he just plays very patient. Right. Yeah. And you have a lot of other Steve players who kind of just like, well, I have a really good advantage and, you know, I get to throw things out, so I'm just going to keep doing it until it works. Like a cola? A cola is very aggressive. He, to he is a very aggressive Steve player. The Apple is just willing to play the slow game against you. Just... Dominant. Mine, oh, early. oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful setup. Game. It was it was rough no matter which option that he went for. Yeah. He if he had... rolled, he was dead from the TNT. And oh, if he get, jumps, he's awesome. He's going to get a good thought about, like, what? Six, oh, doesn't get the oh. last hit off of it. Uh, the Battle of DLC. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, but Dominator not doing that bad of a job himself. Yeah, you have, really seen, good at the you have seen a lot of people say that this is one of the, quote-unquote, best characters that you can go into this matchup just because of the space and obviously his ability to kill barrier. Right, like, like that. That's exactly what we're talking like about. That. Really? Yeah. I saw, I saw you beat uh, S Phantom. You played what, Violet? Huh? You played Violet, right? S Phantom? Yeah. Good stuff. My oh, opinion. the F smash. Oh, and we're going back to evens right now. Yeah. Oh, that worked Ooh. out so well for Apple. The block wow. actually stopping his knockback. Oh, just racking up so much damage right now, and he still has diamonds out. This is practically kill percent if he's able to get a good read. Yeah. And he's gonna try to what? Run out and block? Nope. He's gonna let him get back. Minecart yeah, again, that's and that's it. gonna kill. Wow. I did not ex expect that to kill at that percent. I've been watching Steve for quite some time now, and there's so many moments where even I'm surprised at how fast and how quick. Steve can really just get a kill. Truly an insane kill. All right, and Apple is going to take that. Let's see, where is he going to take him? Is he going to stick with this? Or is, okay, he's running PS2 back. I feel like we're going back to the Mario. That's interesting. No, I think I think he's going to try one more. So, yep. This All right, this is best of five. So. Yep, we are in best of fives right now. We are so, in winner semis. He has a little... Apple, the Steve. Apple. Yeah. See, he has a little, a little bit of leeway to try out these two characters. And another thing about this matchup that makes it... Oh, he's going to force him right into, the, wow. right into the TNT. But both players right now are pretty even in terms of percentages. Yeah, I was saying another thing about this matchup that makes it really good for Sephiroth is Sephiroth's range, man. Like, he just outranges Steve so hard. Whether it be the fair, the F tilts, the back air, and, yeah, and it's it just messes up everything Steve has. It's definitely one of his best things. No wow. way that just killed. Wow. Wow. Speaking of killing early, we forgot that Sethov is very capable of doing the exact same thing back to Steve. And the best part is he does not have to get as close. Yeah, that's right. That up air is huge. He can hit him from just he can hit him from 17 miles away and still. Also play. has also has the tipper, has the shield break. Honestly, just a very good toolkit. The side B? Yeah. Side B is very good for grading space. Would you would you say that this matchup is even? Absolutely not. I feel like... You think St Steve still has the advantage? <laughs> Sephiroth definitely wins. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. People are going to say... Oh, oh, and the grab misses, and Apple is able to capitalize off of the mistake. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna rack up some damage. Wow. Oh, okay. See, Do you see that see, with the block? See, that's the thing is the block benefited him so much. Dom tried to wait it out, and he rolled back, and he still got hit with a later part of part. That's just crazy, man. That's really tough because Steve puts you in a lot of situations where oh. even if you react properly, you're still gonna get hit by something. 
You just gotta think which one's worse. And which one's right. less worse. Oh, he has a diamond now. This is not This is going to be rough, but if you can keep him off and get a pick right here. Beautiful. Oh, he gets the beautiful, perfect beautiful, run off. beautiful. Dominator stuff is really coming up together. And we know that these two are friends. They play each other all the time, if not almost every single day. So they're very familiar with each other's habits and what the other one wants to go for. Right. So this is nothing new for either of these competitors right here. Dominator getting some good pokes out. Oh, he's racking up some nice good damage. There. This could be exactly what he needs. Oh, and Steve's ability to just do the recovery and make it look like there's going to be some end lag and he gets punish him. Nope, it's honestly just a bait. Yep. Oh, Almost everything oh. Steve does is a bait. <laughs> honestly. Let's see what's Dom going to go for. Oh, They're both at 81 right now. Both in kill percent. Right now, Apple has his diamond. Let's see. Hopefully that doesn't drop right on top of him. Oh, and he nice gets a good back air. Nice back air. Okay. Are we going to see the ledge trap? Ooh. Not quite. Oh, oh, no. This could spell disaster, and it is. Jumps right into it and gets a spike of diamond. Damn. I'd like to retract my statement from earlier about this matchup. Plus three for Steve. <laughs> Plus three. Yes. Does Steve have any losing matchups? No. <laughs> I think he's definitely the closest to not have any. Honestly, I feel like Steve is... Top three, if not the best character in the game. In terms of like, if you can maximize their potential and everything that they can do, yeah. Yeah. Because the advantage just gets bigger, you know, with like, time, gold, diamond, hitbox get extended. It's like there's new Steve tech every every day. It seems like. It is. But optimal Steve tech, which is insane. It's definitely a very scary character to play against, yeah. especially if you're not familiar with what Steve can and can do. It's it's not gonna be a good time. Yeah, you constantly have to learn new setups to watch out for. Regardless of what people say or how people feel, I definitely will not say that Steve is an easy character. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, Apple has been putting in the work from day one. I remember from Wi-Fi, he used to be, he used to play Steve like right from when he came out. And everyone used to call him, oh, the carried Wi-Fi Steve player who do nothing off. Well, he has proved a lot of people. And, and look at him now. He's making a lot of noise and impact when he goes to majors. And he's just, he's right. just really come a long way. That's right. Look pretty, pretty good right now. Dom has a slight lead, but do you ever really have a leader or, or advantage against Steve? No, this is pretty much even right now. I'm sending him off stage. Okay, so he's see the able track. to come back with a quick up The card rolls off the pole oh. and he catches him. Beautiful. Not only does it hit him, but it slows down the anvil and prevents him from getting hit. That's huge. I really thought that was going to be a trade. Nice grab. Oh, and he's being aggressive. Yeah, he has, he has to take the fight to him. Tough up, I feel, is one of the few characters that can take the fight to Steve and outspace him and outrange him and just really give him a hard time. Yeah, just at this oh, range. He's just at getting this range, so Steve many reads. Look at that. He throws out up tilt to not get hit by the anvil again. Yeah. Domin I mean, he still got hit by the weak hitbox, but still. Dominator is playing 4D chess. Oh, the right bait. Now. Oh. Did you see that movement bait oh. by Dominator? Oh, oh, and he sends the cart back to him. The sparkle. Jeez, dude. Dominator right now has his back against the wall. He has the dog in him. He knows if anything goes wrong, he's going to be out. He, he just hates losing as much as anyone else does here He's today. playing this matchup perfectly to a crisp. And Ooh. just reading everything Apple's doing, covering all his options. As long as he is able to keep his nerves intact and keep his composure, this is definitely going to go to a game for him. That's right. There will be no sweeps. Oh. Oh, oh. and throws out the cart after the anvil, and it's going to take. Oh, read. Okay, the night. Okay. That's a good backer. If this catches, oh, and he dips down. Okay, re grab his. Oh, when he gets him with a slash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to go to game four right here. Yeah. I don't think they're going to run back on PS2. I definitely wouldn't if I was dumb. Right. Honestly, amazing game for Dominator. Just, just showing all the strengths Sephiroth has in this matchup. Honestly, does Steve have any bad maps? Any bad maps? Uh, no, he doesn't. Can't really, can't really think of a stage where Steve would be at a, at a disadvantage or struggle to kill. Yeah, he, he just has some stage that he does slightly worse on. Like, like I know some stages, it's a lot easier to get iron and 
<laughs> right? A little screenshot of us. <laughs> Definitely gonna save that one. That's the final battle. Now we're gonna go live back to game four. Oof. If Dominator can keep that same play style and that same pace against Apple, I wouldn't be surprised if he turns us around and takes yeah, us Yeah, look at him right now. But it's gonna Already be a, 50, there's 60, gonna be a lot that has to happen and a lot that has to go right in order for that outcome to happen. Yeah. But Dominator is more than capable. I feel like he's in the zone right now. Dominator definitely knows that he has to do the win this. He just always has that comeback factor on him. Yeah. Some people do not do good with a disadvantage, with being losing, playing from behind. Dominator is not one of those people. If anything, he thrives more. Yeah, he thrives off being at a disadvantage. He's made a lot of reverse 3 O's in his career. I don't even think the word disadvantage is in his dictionary. He doesn't even know what it means. Definitely. Oh, and he's oh, able to beautiful. beautifully try to get off ledge and spot an air dodge. That's something you only know if you've played a Steve like, so times many times know. that you've gotten hit by that. The average, over and over. the average person would not know that that's what you would do to be safe. Yeah, he definitely, has the definitely right not. there. Well, he's definitely throwing out a lot of good hits. There's the re-grab. Gets a good forward there. Okay. Oh, oh the up, the up smash out of shield taking it. Another thing that I just feel like that I'm not too personally big on Steve is just how how different the movement is when it comes to like spot dodging and tacking and just the animation that he just overall has. Yeah. Something you have to get used to when fighting him, for oh. sure. Okay, Don gets a good grab. It's the up throw, goes for the anvil. Oh, and he spots. Oh, sorry. Air dodges coming down from the up air. Oh, and the dash. Nope, it's not going to kill. He's at 149. Yeah. He's trying to bait out something from him. Does the get up attack on oh, ledge with Diamond? Gonna He's going to get some damage. stack. There's going to be 54 right here. Oh, and oh. downtown's covering both sides and gets 72, but now Dom gets his wing. Okay, gets a good back. No, but it's still not, not going to be yet. enough to kill. But he still has a wing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wings it back. Oh, and Apple, Apple getting diamond here, which is it's going to be rough. This is practically kill percent. That's right. Now they have to play very safe. Put a lot of good strings. Okay. Okay. In there. The frame trap. I love that. The gems. Oh, and he almost tried to do what he did last game and read off. But Apple the knew. Apple knew not to do that again. Very good adaptation by both these players here. A lot of people would have tried to gone for the same option, but nope. That just shows the experience that comes to playing for so long. That's right. Oh, and that's oh, gonna nice. catch him. He we took, can see Dom getting a little frustrated. He took a gamble. Yeah. Does a good up slash on stage. For, oh no, and he's gonna get him off. He's gonna get, yep, a 49% again. And oh, into the back, back of that there. 67, almost kills. This is just still kill into 91, yep. One this is more, looking like a sweet for Apple right now. One, one more option right here is gonna put Dominator out. So, very surprising that that didn't break shield. Yeah. And he loves just doing the anvil jump cancel. Which oh, lets him be on Anvil and still throw out a forward smash. Okay, he can do this. He can do this. Apple is trying to get his composure together. He's breathing. He's taking a moment. He's sitting behind that block wall. Dom's going to have to be very, very safe. One false input can change the entirety right now. Up smash kills right okay. now. So he has to be very careful about what he does on his shield. He's dodging a lot of good stuff right now. Oh, the tech. Oh, my God. And Apple misses the up smash right now, but we're keeping this game going. Imagine cool. he gets an off stage off the slash. That's, I feel like, what he's trying to look for. I think he's trying to put him off stage and honestly just try and go for yeah. another at this, game. At this percent, the adrenaline's rushing. But he's playing He's playing very patient with the blocks. He's, he's not breaking them. He's not trying to force them down. He's just letting them time out and make him think he's going to run up to it. Good oh. shield off the card again. He's still staying alive. Good forward slash. Ooh, okay. He's going. Racking up the damage. Just he went for forward it. smash. Okay. He went for it all. He's really playing away. Oh, oh no. no! Oh my God! Oh, he gets a good forward smash. Puts him off stage. I know he's gonna want to oh. go for it. Oh, he's insane. Oh. He is insane. If and he, Apple is shaking his head that he even dared go for that. If he did it one notch earlier, it would have hit. I respect it though. It was a. It was.